having the extra loadable space is great. The knurling is awesome on here. Hey guys, Coach Ben here, and I wanted to review the Sabertooth Bench Bar. This is a bar I've been working with a lot lately. Uh, I wanted to get a good bench bar, something that's gonna hold up a little bit stronger than a regular Texas Power Bar, for instance. Uh, this is actually, this is sold by Elite FTS. This is manufactured by uh, Texas Barbell, all right, same people that make the Texas Power Bar. And what's nice about this bar, it's a little bit thicker, okay? So it is, it's not gonna have as much width. So if you are someone that quick lifter, maybe you're handling 800 plus pounds. Uh, you know, typically a power bar is gonna have a lot of whip and that's gonna kinda hit you midway up. Um, this isn't gonna whip on you. This is gonna hold up much stronger, okay? Similar like a squat bar. And then if you can see here in the, the, the collars, we have a much more loadable space um, on these collars here, okay? So the nice thing with this is that I can actually load up a bunch of 45s, all right? I don't have to uh, try to jam a bunch of 45s on and then have like a band strapped up across the end or something like that. All right, so having the extra loadable space is great. The knurling is awesome on here. It's gonna have the same, about the same ring area as a, a standard power bar, okay? Uh, what I don't like about this bar, particularly for me, I don't like because I don't have the hugest hands, all right? So when I'm placing this bar, it's a little bit thicker. And if you're working with a thicker bar and you have smaller hands, right, it's hard to really wedge this bar deep into my palm like I would like to, okay? So what I find most of the time for me is that if you have smaller hands on this thicker type of bar, it's gonna push your hands back. My favorite bench bar is still Iron Wolf because it doesn't have as large a diameter. It's still pretty thin, so it can stay in the bottom of my hand well. The only problem with this, I like how it doesn't have as much whip, but with me being having smaller hands and not as much a range of motion, the width never really bothered me. So having a thicker bar really ends up pushing my wrist back when I go heavy. All right, so I have to be extra conscious of that. Um, but of course, being able to load the weights that I need to on here uh, without having to rely on having 100 pound plates, uh, that's really the, a key thing for this bar if you're someone who's already running out of room with your collars. Um, but just be mindful of that. So if the whip really affects your bench press, this is gonna be a great investment for you. Um, but if you're like me and you have a shorter range of motion, you never really feel a different whip on a regular power bar, and uh, you have smaller hands, because that's gonna be a key thing, you gotta keep in mind this might end up making it harder for you to keep your wrist position, uh, a little bit more challenging in that right. So at the end of the day, this is an awesome bar, well made, uh, the, the knurling's fantastic on it. All right, obviously it's outside, so it's getting a little rust, I have to oil it down fair amount of times, but um, I really like this bar. It has great collar length to it, so you get all the plates you need to on it, unless you're Jimmy Cobb and you're benching 1,200 pounds. And then, I don't know if they make a, a bar for you, Jimmy. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching the review. Sabertooth Bench Bar, big thumbs up from me. Um, just be mindful, if you have a shorter range, smaller hands, you might, you'd be fine with a power bar. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel over here. You can check out a video related on the topic over here and the most recent video down here. And if you're interested in joining our online coaching program, you can check out the link in the description box.